will aid me in determining who is worthy. Worthy? Worthy enough to take his place by my side. This isn't a dating service. I am the queen of Themyscira, the daughter of Zeus himself. I do not date. Once I have decided who the worthy one is, I shall inform that person that he now belongs to me. That's not really how this works. Although, um, have you considered Superman or Batman? It's complicated. Okay. Um, well, if you're talking about strength, um, there's always Hercules. Ew. Half-brother? Uh, yeah. Um, Shazam. <laughs> He's 15. Besides, whoever I choose as the worthy one has to possess a strength of spirit. It's a pretty broad definition. Um, what about Green Lantern? Too arrogant. The Flash? Too fast. The Atom? Too small. Right. Um, Booster Gold? Please. I uh, have... Mr. Mixoplick. The imp? I'd rather die. All right, well, you know, what about Aquaman? He's a king, um, isn't he? I mean, what about him? I do like seafood. But his fingers are always so wrinkly. Is it possible that the person we're looking for is on the wrong team, so to speak? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I went through that phase in college. I left the island to uh, get away from all that. Earlier, you mentioned complications. Is it possible that the search for someone else is a way of avoiding those complications? Perhaps. What about Batman, then? He shares your obsession with justice. I fear I would break him. I've got a suit for that. Besides, I do not wish to spend all night long in the cave. Two words. Bat jacuzzi. Well, that's true. I mean, what about then Superman? I mean, you and he are pretty much equal in terms of power. He's powerful. Yes. But... I don't think that an illegal alien is an appropriate choice for the daughter of Zeus. Wait a second. I'm from Kansas. Well, sort of. Actually, I consider myself a naturalized citizen of Earth. Look, in my professional opinion, in terms of worthiness, Superman or Batman, they're the top candidates. I know. It has to be one or the other. How are you going to choose between the two? In the true Amazonian fashion, Doctor, I shall make them battle. And the victor shall be truly the worthy one. You know, that's not really quite what I meant when I said that the... Thank you so much, Dr. Huntoon. You have been most helpful. That's not really what... Okay. Yeah, uh... Janet, you'd better go ahead and cancel my 5 o'clock with Superman. And he's gonna be busy. And uh, go ahead and send him my next client. <gasps> oh, sorry, Doc. I, I just can't uh, get over this cold. No, Scott. Scott, it's fine. Bookcases will be okay once the fire's out. Greetings. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to subscribe. And also, don't forget to like. Comment. And share. Um, you know, we really appreciate your support. So please check out uh, some of our other work. We've got uh, this really cool show, Six Feet Down Under, which is going to be right there. I think I'm gonna, we're going to have previous episodes somewhere like right here. Or maybe up here, I'm not sure exactly. But also, if you dug the uh, costumes that we used today, check out this awesome Wonder Woman by Logan Props. And be sure to check them out at thejimlogan.com. Don't forget we'll, the sword. Yeah, we'll have a link somewhere for that. Oh, yeah, and this, look at this sword. Pretty awesome. Power Loader Cosplay by Dustin Kiska. Thank thanks, Dustin, for providing the sword. Yeah, it's thanks awesome. so much. And uh, yeah, so thanks guys for all the support and please tune in for the next episode. See you next time. Love you.